Hey guys, welcome to Bits and Bobs. If it's your first time here, make sure you subscribe, leave a like, and hit the bell button. In today's video, we'll be having a look at two tripods for your phone to see which one is better. The phone tripod I'll be looking at is this version. I'm going to prove that my tripod is the best. So let's go on it. <laughs> Now we've got the stability test. Hope I win. So, that wasn't too great. Let's put the legs out a bit further. Okay, so we're not doing too well here, but... But if I knock the legs, it's fine. Okay, so our first category is stability. Let's find out how stable this version is. So here's the tripod set up with a phone in it, and as you can see, it's not really falling over. It's pretty, pretty sturdy, I'd say. And there it goes. Well, that took quite a lot to get it to fall. You're lucky because you got a first person view of the phone movability. So currently it's going round. That's 360 degrees round. It can go up and it can't really go down as far down as it can go. So yeah, that's that's the phone movability. Okay, so our next category is how much the phone can move whilst in the tripod. All right, now let's find out how much the phone can move while in the tripod. So, in terms of leaning back, if you were swimming upwards, it can go all the way back into about this angle downwards of back. Now, bring it back up straight. How far forward is going to go if you're filming down? Ah, that's where it stops. Can't go very far forwards, but it can go very far back. My bonus is the legs that the legs are being unable to move. So that means we can attach it anywhere. It can go upside down and any way you want. The legs can hook around some handlebars. Maybe that might be used in a future video. Time for the last category, bonus features. Oh, and the last bonus feature is that it comes with a little set of buttons to stop and start a video or even take a picture. Well, that's it for this tripod. Comment down below whose tripod you think's better. As always, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and hit the little bell. We'll see you next time on Bits and Bobs.